Sunday London. Um, I'm just going to uh, go into Fulham to uh, hopefully see some Manchester United players. I'm after the manager actually, that's the main person that I want today. So uh, hopefully that I get him. I get him on my shirt as well. So uh, Because he's only a temporary manager until May. Hopefully he gets a full term job. He deserves it. So uh, I'm going for Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. So, there we go, I'm here, uh, I weighed in, I lost half a pound, which is good, it's still a loss, it's still going in the right direction, okay I wanted more, but you know, I can't be too greedy, 18 and a half pounds in 5 weeks is amazing, so uh, that's pretty much it, I'm going to have to go because I'm getting off the train and I'll catch you very soon. Hello guys, so I'm back home, what a day, what a day it was, it was... A long one. <coughs> Did the football. I tell you what, it was carnage. Absolute carnage. People were pushing, they were shoving. So obviously we're behind the barrier, right? And literally, we were packed like sardines, I'm telling you. And obviously, when the main United players came out, people were pushing and shoving, fighting, elbowing, punching each other. And I thought, you know what? Fuck this. Because, you know, I'm not getting punched in the face. Um, I only wanted one person. And, obviously, I was, like, in the second row. So, I couldn't put the shirt over and reach for Ollie to sign it. So, I'm going to have to try him an, uh, another time. Um, I think May United are back down. that We play on the 27th of February. We're playing Crystal Palace. So, I'm going to have to try there instead. Um, and I think that is the last, uh, it's not the last trip because obviously they're coming down for Chelsea as well in the FA Cup. So I've got two more attempts to try and get him. So uh, on that 99 shirt. So yeah, it wasn't good. Uh, but it turned out to be good in the end. Um, I went to get Gemma Whelan from uh, Games of Thrones. So I got her and I see Danny and I got my DVD signed. Because uh, I found some DVDs and Blu-rays uh, that I had. Um, I was looking through my DVDs and Blu-rays last night. And I said, oh, I, th I thought Danny had already signed them. He didn't. So I went and got those done again. Got those DVDs done. And I um, got a better picture with him this time as well. And oh, uh, as we were waiting for Danny, you're never going to believe who showed up. Stuart from EastEnders. Yep, he went to see Danny. And um, it was actually uh, quite funny. Uh, we were, someone in the crowd said to Stuart, obviously his name is called Ricky, uh, said, don't kill Dot. And do you know what he said? He said, I already have. Couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. So I'm thinking, has he killed Dot then? Or is he planning to kill Dot? I wonder. Um, I was quite shocked to hear him say it, to be honest, and, uh, yeah, everyone was talking about it, uh, so, yeah, I just, uh, wonder if he is, uh, if that's what he's going to be doing. Interesting. Well, but, really, he's a really nice guy, actually, uh, he's nice, uh, so, uh, I got him, uh, on my Game of Thrones, because he was in Game of Thrones as well. Got him on my EastEnders poster as well. And uh, another EastEnders person turned up. Uh, Amanda Drew, she played the Doctor in EastEnders. So I managed to get her as well. So um, it's quite good. Got a couple randoms and all. You ain't going to believe it. We also, we got, uh, me and my mates today, we got Alfie Moon as well. So it's quite a good day for the EastEnders. Got quite a lot. So obviously we got Mick Carter. Uh, I can't remember Amanda Drew's character in uh, EastEnders. Um, obviously, we've got Stuart and Alfie. So, uh, it's a really good day. I had a nice chat uh, with Shane Ritchie, who plays Alfie. I was talking to him about, obviously, the last time I met him. I met him down in um, the Bromley Theatre when he was in there with Jesse Wallace. So, uh, he, he remembered it. He remembered meeting me as well. So, that was nice. So, yeah, it was... Uh, a good uh, a good day. The day started off rubbish, but it panned out to be really good. So it's good. I've had a good day. I'm pleased. Got some people, and 
I'm not so pleased because I uh, wasn't expecting to see uh, Alfie Moon today and uh, I uh, normally carry the EastEnders uh, picture character cards with me. I took them out of my bag this morning. Didn't think I was going to end up seeing Alfie Moon today. So uh, now I know obviously where he is, I'm going to have to go back and get that signed uh, during the week. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm meeting up with one of my friends. So yeah. So I'm home, I'm going to quickly have some waffles, um, obviously, because uh, uh, I'm hungry. So uh, I'm going to have some waffles, so uh, half a pound off this week, which is good. Obviously, my body's retaining water for, from the exercise that I've done this week, 90,000 steps I've done this week, so it's quite a lot. So, um, yeah, a bit of water retain, uh, but, you know, it should come off next week or this week. Um well, uh, three and a half pounds to go for the three stone award. So, I, uh, you know, 38 and a half pounds I've lost. Um, you know, what's that? 18 and a half pounds in uh, five weeks is, uh, is good. So, we're quite pleased with that as well. So, you know, okay, it's not a lot, but, you know, it's coming off slowly. Let it come off slowly. It's all going in the right direction and it's all adding on and it's, the pounds are coming off, which is great. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to quickly go make some waffles. So, uh, I'll catch you in a minute. Righty yo guys, I've got the waffle maker on heat. So as soon as that goes green, that is hot and ready to be played with. And uh, now I'm just gonna measure out the oats. Good old ready brick. So I've got a big pot of natural yogurt, I'm not using all this. And obviously I've got some uh, two eggs, a bit of vanilla extract, and that's pretty much all I need. So. Let's give it a go. I need new scales. These ones are dodge. They keep changing to uh, ounce. Right, that's gone green. That's ready to be done. It is, look. I press it and it's not going to grams. There we go. So we need 40 grams of porridge oats. What have we got there? 35, 37, 39, 40. There we go. Guys, are you ready? One, two, three. Waffles are us. Look at that. Oh, yeah, they look good. Yummy, yummy. What guys is telling me? Right guys, we're going round two now. Right, yeah, I'm going to do this. I reckon we're just going to get two more waffles, I think. I don't know, I could probably get three actually. Four, seven, five. That's eight. I don't know why. Yeah, the first time I did it, I managed to get ten. Do you know what? Since then, I've not managed to get ten. Strange, isn't it? Right, yo, guys. So there we go. That's done. So let's pop that down. Three minutes to go. Right, guys, round two is done. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So we've got three and a bit waffle. So there you go guys, some waffles. I'm gonna save these one, I'm gonna save these ones for tomorrow, okay? So I've got a nice little snack snack. And so yeah, I'm just gonna have a bit of fruit with this, a bit of skinny syrup as well, guys. 
And there you go guys, I've lovely decorated that. So I've got a bit of a toffee muller light. So that is going to be half a thing because I only had half of the yoghurt rather than using the full amount. And we've got some blueberries for a bit of speed. Midnight snack. Right guys, well I'll tell you what, those waffles went down a lovely treat. And uh, that is the end of my video for today. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to like and share the video. And I'll catch you again very soon. Take care. See you later. Bye.